Hi, this is Shelley Kraft, and welcome to SNN Live. We're at the Southeastern Medical Device Association 2013 conference right here in Georgia Tech's Global Learning Center in downtown Atlanta, Georgia. I'm with Angela Sinton of the Medical Device Marketing Company, a private company. She's also very important at SEMDA, but we're going to first focus on the Medical Device Marketing Company. Welcome to SNN Live. Well, Shelley, thank you for having me here. Thank you very much. You're a doll. It's good to have you. Okay, let's get right into it. Tell me about Medical Device Marketing. Sure will. Medical Device Marketing is a privately held firm that works a lot with small and mid-cap companies, and we basically do a lot of their early market research. We help them determine, help them get funding, help them write their business plans. We assist them in developing marketing materials. We are a connector that sort of also helps them make an early decision on, I have a new product, is there a place for it in the market? So we help them do the research to understand their competition, their reimbursement, uh, their market potential, and their investors return on uh, ROI. So if they get an investor involved early, and they're going to want their money back with the profits. So we are the group that works with the companies as they're getting started. And we are a team of five people that collectively probably has about 80 years in the medical device industry. We are of the industry, not just consultants. So Angela, let me ask you a question. This is a particularly unique industry. Yes, it is. I know you've been in around the industry for a while. Tell me the particulars of what your, what's your motivation? What, why do you get up in the morning and want to do this? It's a very good question. Actually, I have a personal story and then a professional story. Um, my father, when I was six years old, had a heart attack. And my he lived, but through the, yes, thank God, but but over the course of his life, he always dealt with various heart diseases. Uh, he had multiple uh, heart bypasses, and it was back in the day when there were no minimally invasive opportunities and options, and you didn't have the drug eluding stents. So it was very, in, in very invasive surgery. So all my life, I lived with the fear that my father wouldn't be here. It's interesting. I think because of that, I started my career in the medical device industry, and I started my career in the cardiothoracic space. Mm. And I believe, without question, it came right down to one thing. It was personal, and I wanted to be a part of an industry that saved people's lives because, as the saying goes, the patient is always waiting. And I've been involved in some very interesting new technologies that have made differences in people's lives. Um, I've worked with cardiothoracic companies. I was involved with the pill cam. I was a second employee. Uh, and we was a breakthrough technology for diagnostics of the small intestines. Um, I've worked with venture capitalists over my career. But my motivation to answer your question that gets me up in the morning every day is because I really do believe that these technologies make a difference in the patient population and my company will do anything that we can to help these companies get to market because ultimately we want to get to the patient population to the patient because kids shouldn't have to grow up wondering if their father was going to be around the following day. I experienced it I hope others don't have to. So it, it was a personal story that I sort of made a career with. I understand. One time I was interviewing someone from the industry and he said something to me that you triggered. And he said, you know, Shelley, the reason why I do this is because one day we'll all be patients. <laughs> Without question. One day we will all be patients. In fact, most of us have been a patient somewhere for something, even at young ages. Mm -hmm. And the more that we can do now, because they're phenomenal technologies, the more that, that we can do now to get these breakthrough technologies into the patient population, 
the less radical the procedures have to be for treatment. And, and another key factor is earlier diagnosis because whether it be cancer, heart disease, um, any uh, diabetes, the earlier your diagnosis, uh, the more likely you'll have a more a productive normal life. So medical device marketing has a team of five people who have come from the industry. We all have different skill sets. You know, some people say if you ha a lot of people tend to hire their own skill set over and over. Well, then you end up with one skill set and one position. Uh, we have a great financial network. We have the investor network, we have commercialization. We work very closely with uh, bringing companies together, helping companies get to the investor. We help them develop their business plans because a lot of times people have a product and they're not really sure what to do with it. So one of our most important goals for medical device marketing is positioning. Where should we position this product in the marketplace and how do we bring it to market through distribution? Is it just a domestic job? A domestic role or do we go with an international strategy as well? Should you do a direct sales force? Should it be a distributor group, et cetera, et cetera? So there, there are lots plenty, of choices. lots of choices. So this is an appeal. If you're a genius or you think you have a great idea, please reach out to Angela. I'm about to give you her website. Look at it, go through it, look at the talent pool, please. Get us, get us something new. <laughs> right. It's www.medicaldevicemarketing.com. Very easy. Medicaldevicemarketing.com. Got it? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Angela Sinton. Medical Device Marketing. Put a dot .com. Go, go there. It's a private company. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. We are at the Southeastern Medical Device Association 2013 conference right here in Georgia Tech's Global Learning Center in Atlanta, Georgia. Angela, thank you so much. Thank you, Shelley, for having me. Thank you very much.